Hello, I'm back with another quick LTA. This one is about adding subtitles or additional language translations to short videos. There's another great new web resource that recently became available. It's called .sub. It's a free web hosting site for movies that also provides the capability of transcribing and adding subtitles to movies. This is useful for hearing impaired and also makes it possible for translation into other languages. The dot sub URL appears on the bottom of the screen. There are numerous free web hosting sites where videos may be posted, but dot sub is the only one, to my knowledge, where it is possible to add subtitles using a fairly simple interface. The site appears to be recently created with parts of the site still under construction. This short video will describe the process involved in adding subtitles. The first step in the process is to create a video. On the screen may be found the URL for another quick LTA that describes what is generally involved in creating a video. This is an example of a narrated PowerPoint slideshow that was saved as a video. It is possible for subtitles to be added to other forms of video just as easily as this form. The second step in the process is to create a .sub account. Go to the URL found on the previous slide and follow the simple process of creating a login and password. After the video has been created and the .sub account generated, the next step is to upload the video to the site. The graphic shows the screenshot of the button to, the click, to click on for posting a new film. The .sub site has a generous limit of 300 megabytes for videos that are uploaded to their site. After clicking on the link, a new screen will appear where metadata may be supplied regarding the video. Information needs to be added about the video, including the title, the license of choice, a primary language, and a brief description. The option of who may view the video is also included. A range of options is found here, including public, registered users, or private. Additional questions need to be answered regarding who may transcribe and translate, plus several more. After questions are answered, the video is ready to be posted. The speed of this uploading process depends on a number of factors, including the size of the file and the speed of the internet connection. Once the video has been successfully posted, the URL for the site is available, along with two size options for embedding the video in another web page. Having two sizes for the video window is convenient. Adding subtitles comes next. Access the URL for the video just created. In the lower right portion of the screen may be found a set of advanced tools that include an option for transcribing the film. Several other links are found with the second of the options being the one to select after transcription is complete. Adding the subtitles is not difficult. A starting point in minutes and seconds needs to be selected for each subtitle. The subtitles need to be typed in the space located to the right of the designated times. After all the subtitles have been created, click on the link to indicate the process has been completed. In a moment or two, the newly created transcription will be available for viewing. At this stage, determine if the subtitles or captions that were created are appropriate. If there is a need to change any of the subtitles, there is a very nice tweaking option available. Once the transcription is in an acceptable form, it may be saved for later viewing. Shown on the screen is what the video looks like with the subtitle present. On the right of the screen and immediately below Watch is found a drop down menu for the various viewing options. Two forms of the video are present, one with subtitles and one without. The URLs for the creative video are not particularly user friendly, as shown on the screen, but if embedded in a web page, there is not the need for a user to enter the complete URL. At this stage, it is possible to add foreign language translation, if there is an interest in doing so. In summary, transcribing short video clips has become possible using a new web resource called .sub. Steps involved are to create a video, save it to the .sub site, complete a transcription of the video, and then share the URL with others. You now know about a potentially very useful tool.